Hello, this is Jeff Beaudry. I'd like to introduce you to this video uh, in which we're going to talk about the connections of right science to the uh, instructional strategy of using mind maps and concept maps. One of the things that we're trying to do is to um, use the right science model as a basic starting point, the do, talk, write model. What, we're tr what we'd like to do, what I'm extremely excited about, is the idea of introducing visual learning into this process where we're going to have the learners generate their own maps, their own visuals, so that this process will be extended so that we have a do, think, reflect, map, and we talk we refine, reflect, and remap. If you want to talk some more, collaborate, and then ultimately we're writing. So we're seeing this as introducing a concrete strategy in which learners can take their thinking, represent the thinking in visual terms as a concept map, and then do some talking about that as a way to develop their ideas in a deeper conceptual way in advance or along with their writing. When it comes to visual thinking, uh, especially in early childhood and early elementary and the elementary grades, we want to be very active in trying to make sure that students' visual, uh, very pictorial and graphic thinking is included in the kind of work that we do, especially when we're trying to make that connection between words, thinking, picturing, drawing, and writing something which is very much at the heart of a lot of, of science literacy. So visual thinking here has a couple of maps that we're going to use today. We're going to use mind maps, which are developed around a central idea and the ideas radiate, and oftentimes these are used for brainstorming webs. We also want to tr use concept maps, which are going to be uh, have more structure to them. That is, they're going to be organized from the top down. And they're also going to have linking words put on those arrows or on those lines that link concepts and the graphic um, uh, symbols together. So now I'd like to stop the video with you and have you reflect for a moment on this question. Why is visual learning important? Take some time to think about that. Take some time to talk in small groups and take, some time to sum, take, take time to summarize this uh, with the larger group. Maybe with that added on question, why is it important for your learners? As you reflect on this idea of why visual learning is important, think of your, the importance at, a num at three levels. The first of all is you as a learner. What are those things which appeal to you and which have an effect on you as a learner? What are the connections of text and pictures? How do you arrange those? Second of all, you as a teacher, how do you present your ideas? And this is where we have to place ourselves as learners to the side and make sure that we're going to present ideas for all learners. So the idea of maybe I don't like visuals, maybe I do, really is a, it should be put aside for the fact that you have learners and you should help to, learners to understand themselves uh, in their fullest capacity and not be putting um, them into a position where they're not trying to use their strengths. So let's try a mind map. We're going to do one uh, that's going to talk about me, uh, a little bit about me as a person, then maybe as a learner. So in the middle, we're going to put me. There's a picture of me. I'm Jeff. Um, I see myself as a teacher. I teach adults at the uh, graduate level at the University of Southern Maine. Um, some of the courses that I teach, I teach statistics. A uh, very fun word to pronounce and to try to, th to, even more fun to try to think about. I like to write. I actually do like to um, sit down and write articles and um, longer articles and books and um, a, a video and so forth. Uh, kind of comes into that uh, realm of writing. And some of my other uh, areas, I'm sure you're not surprised, of photography, which kind of brings together that idea of being visual. Uh, and using the, the sense of capturing images. So I could add to this too. I could up here, I could say, 
Um, I like to bicycle. So we could add that right here. As you can see, we're building that radial map. I like to swim. And if you push me really hard, I'll run. So there you go. So as a learner, my visual sense comes into play, as you can see here. So I really do like to play with visuals. I like to combine different types of graphic elements. I like to combine text with, work, with visuals. Um, and I like to do so so that I can become a better teacher. So you get a little bit of idea of how my mind map works. I've made a map of myself and redrawn the map and revised the map so that it reflects more of who I am as a learner. So as you can see, I'll start at the top. I like to collaborate. I like to interact. I like to teach ideas. So that means in those groups, sometimes I'll be thinking, what is it I can contribute to the group? I like to quantify things, uh, something that comes out in my um, use of surveys or statistical analysis. I'm a voracious reader. This has very, been very, very important to me as a learner, maybe the most important thing uh, for me since the beginning of my um, career and my growth as a learner. Um, multimedia, I love to design multimedia. I use visual learning and mapping when I can to support my learning and to extend my ideas. And I like to and really practice the idea of listening. I really get deeply involved in that. So having said all of that, let's take a moment. Have you create a map of yourself as a learner using the mind map as the structure? So take a moment, answer the question, who are you as a learner? Use the mind mapping strategy to display your ideas. Do this in about three minutes.